Hey guys, this is Tutorial Toucan, back with another bird's eye guide through all things tech. I'm really excited about today's video. Now, we all love to surf the web, but we can begin to get frustrated when the sites we have open look like a jumbled mess in our tabs. Do you hate your Google Chrome tab life? Well, if so, then stick with me through this video to learn the top three ways to optimize your tabs in Google Chrome for a better internet surfing experience. By the end, you can make your Google Chrome experience look and feel something like this. Technique number one, tab groups. This is currently a more recent and experimental feature in Google Chrome. Tab groups allow you to create groups for your tabs and label them by name and color, like so. This feature is a great way to organize your tabs as you search the internet and allows you to quickly find and sort many different websites and resources you need as you work online. I will go over how to get it on your Google Chrome browser a bit later. This feature is also easy to use. To create a tab group, right click over any tab and select add to new group. A small round circle will appear with a random default color given to it. You will also notice a line going around the tab currently selected with the same color as the tab group. To customize this for your needs, you can right click over the circle icon to give the tab group a name and a new color. As you can see, you can do this multiple times in your browser to organize tabs. To add a tab already open to an already existing group, just click and drag the tab in front of the tab group name of your choice. You can also do this by right clicking that tab and selecting add to existing group and then selecting the group you would like it to be in. To move a tab out of a group, just right click over it and select remove from group. And finally, when you are done with a tab group overall, just right click on the tab group circle icon or name and click close group to have only the tabs in that category close. So where do we find this amazing tool? It can only be used if you enable it by going to chrome colon slash slash flags. Once there, type in tab groups in the search bar at the top. You will see the options tab groups and tab groups collapse appear. Click on the drop down button to the right of them that say disabled and select enabled. It will then have you close and reopen your Google Chrome browser so that you can then use this feature. Please note that this feature only works with the newest Google Chrome version downloaded. In order to ensure you have this version, click the three dots in the upper right hand part of the browser, select help, and then click on about Google Chrome. Google Chrome will take you to another tab telling you at the top if the browser is up to date. Lastly, as of this video's recording date, the collapse tab groups feature is still under development and does not currently appear on Chrome to use, but I did want to point it out and have you enable it so that when it gets fixed, you may use it as a handy tool with tab groups. Technique number two, bookmarks. This feature has been around in Google Chrome for some time now, but today I have some extra special tricks that can be helpful as you clean up your tabs using this feature and increase your workflow and organization. Many of us visit specific sites many times a week or even daily. This feature allows you to save, name, and organize websites into folders so that you can find them easier in the future. Think of it like a shortcut on your browser. Bookmarking is easy to do and is simple to locate. First, go to a website that you use often. Once there, click on the star in the upper right-hand corner of your browser. A pop-up window will appear asking you to give a name for the bookmark or shortcut, as well as what folder you want it to be in. After you type in your name, select bookmarks bar as your folder and then hit done. You will notice once saved that the bookmark now appears in your bookmark bar at the top of your browser under the URL. If you do not see this bookmarks bar, you can make it appear by clicking the three dots in the upper right hand corner of Google Chrome, hovering over bookmarks and then selecting show bookmarks bar. It will now display for you to see. You can also create individually named folders to help you further organize your bookmarks. I suggest you make the folder by right clicking over the bookmarks bar and clicking add folder. This seems to be the easiest way for me. A pop-up box will appear where you can input the name of your folder. Make sure to select the bookmarks bar folder icon and then select save. Once done, you now have the folder appear on the bookmarks bar and can add as many bookmarks as you like inside of it. 
As an example, this is how I like to organize my bookmarks and folders, using simple names and specific folder titles. To rearrange bookmarks in your folders, simply click and drag them above or below the other bookmarks or into different folders altogether. To delete a bookmark from a folder, right-click and select Delete. To delete a whole folder, right-click over the folder and hit Delete. A couple last tricks you probably didn't know you could do with bookmarks. One, if you right-click over a folder, it will give you the option to open all parentheses with a number inside. This will open all bookmarked websites in that folder and can be useful to navigating to daily sites quickly at one time. Two, if you want to find your bookmarks quicker, it can be helpful to go to an emoji site, copy a relevant emoji, and then paste it before the name you give the bookmark for easy viewing. Note, this works the same for folder names too. Three, if you have a lot of bookmarks on your bookmarks bar and you need to save more space, just right click over the bookmark and select edit. When the pop-up window appears, rename it nothing by deleting what's there. And voila, the end result is that the logo appears with no words next to it for more bookmarks easily seen in the bookmarks bar. Technique number three, extensions. I want to show you three easy free extensions that will take your optimization of tabs and bookmarks to the next level. In order to find these extensions and download them, you will need to access the Google Chrome store, which you can do so by clicking on the apps icon in the bookmarks bar and clicking on web store. Once there, click on themes. This is a great way to make your tab life easier to navigate. I like to select a whole color theme, such as the high contrast colorful. This will highlight the tab you are currently using in yellow to make for an easier time visually navigating through tabs. To download it, click on the theme and then click Add to Chrome button. It will ask you to undo this if you decide you don't like it. To keep it, just exit out of the notification. The next extension that can be a real game changer when customizing your tab life is QuickTab. You can search this on the Chrome store by clicking on extensions and typing in the name. Click on the Add to Chrome blue button that appears to the right and then select Add Extension on the pop-up window. This will have the extension logo appear at the top of the window briefly. Click on the puzzle piece or the extension icon and next to Quick Tab, click the pin icon to pin it to the Chrome browser. You can also do this by navigating to the three dots in the upper right hand corner of the browser, hovering over more tools and then clicking extensions. You then can select the notch to turn on the shortcut in the browser. The end result of using this extension is that now, whether you have 100 tabs open or 20, you can see all your tabs listed out in one easy place. This can be helpful when you have so many tabs open that you can't really see site names or logos clearly and helps you navigate through them with ease. The last extension, and my favorite out of them all, is the Infinity New Tab extension. Search Infinity New Tab in the web store. Locate the one that looks like this, and then click on the blue Add to Chrome button. Select Add Extension when the pop-up appears, and of course, pin this extension to your Google Chrome browser. Once downloaded, open a new tab. You will notice it looks different. Infinity New Tab gives you options to customize your search engine, your background color or image, and gives you options to attach your most used bookmarks below the search area. This again can be useful to navigate to your favorite places the fastest. They also have some really beneficial features, such as weather, where it displays a sidebar with weather in your area, notes, where you can type out digital notes as desired, and to-dos, where you can create a digital checklist for you to do while surfing the web. For more customization, you can also click on the plus button in the upper right-hand corner of the page and select the gear icon, taking you to an area where you can further change and develop your new tab page. And those are the top three ways to help you become more efficient and optimized when surfing the web on Google Chrome. Feel free to use one technique or multiple ones together to create a better personalized Chrome experience. But before you go customizing your browser, I wanna hear what you all think about these tips and optimization techniques. How many tabs have you ever had open at one time? What are your top three bookmarks or sites you go to daily? And of course, let me know if this video was helpful. As always, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more quality 4K tutorial videos. And until we meet again, remember, this is Tutorial Toucan. 
your bird's eye guide through all things tech. Signing off.